You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have Therese Alphonse mm -hmm. back from What's On Your Mind. I Correct. love the name of that group. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you're the executive director, and mm -hmm. you have a big event coming up on the 19th. Yes. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Tell so us. So it's our second annual Mind Fest. We had the first one last year. That was our inaugural event, and this year we're back again at the Fuller Craft Museum. It's Sunday, May 19th from 1 to 4, and we have a packed agenda and packed of vendors that are going to be there. Um, so we have Jimmy Pereira, who is our keynote speaker. Mm -hmm. um, the theme is breaking generational trauma, so he's going to be talking about his upbringing and how he's trying to change that narrative for his children. Uh, we have Jenny Gerfard, who is a native of Brockton. We actually graduated from Brockton High together. Nice. Yeah, and she's talking about just financial wellness and how finances are extremely important and breaking generational trauma because we know there's a lot of stressors that come along with finances and sure. not having money or having money, et cetera. And uh, we'll also have a lot of local vendors there. Uh, we have a woman who makes jewelry with crystals. We have a woman that just makes all different types of like Afrocentric jewelry. We have a, a woman, Vivian Roman Hampton, who's a clinician that's representing her practice in Stoughton. Uh, my my hairdresser is actually going to be giving facials for free. Oh, so wow. we have a lot of different things um, happening. Luanda is catering. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've ever been, their food is so delicious. Yep. So we have a packed agenda, like I said, and it's all focused on breaking generational trauma. And next to no cost, five dollars. It's five dollars. Can't beat that. Five dollars. Can't be that. Fee. Free is great, but. You know what? I always think sometimes people value something a little more. Yeah. If they pay something for it. Yeah. Five dollars isn't going to break the bank. It's a Dunkin' Donuts coffee and right. not even a half of a donut. Right. Right? Think right. about it. And we're entirely self-funded. So right. a lot of what we do comes from myself and the other board members that are on the board. So, you know, we love the work that we do, but we can't go broke doing the work no, that no, we no. do. Everybody, so we need to support it somehow. Nonprofits don't have to like be no money. Right, People right. People think that. Right. I mean, we pretty much give away everything over here too, but we charge small fees for training and yep. stuff like that because we're funded through, we're lucky, we're funded through the cable contract, mm -hmm. but who knows, the FCC is talking about not doing that. Yeah. So we might have to be in the same boat. Yeah, as a, we're a nonprofit, like we're a charitable and, institution. Mm -hmm. We just never really wanted to do that and compete against all the good work that goes on in Brockton. Mm -hmm. You know from working at the health center, they're a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. Brockton has a big nonprofit community. Yes. People don't get that. Yeah. There's plenty of businesses here, but there's a lot of nonprofits. There's probably over a hundred. Yep. Easily. Mm -hmm. And you know the thing is we gotta figure out a way to all partner together yep. and work yep. together and get get the grants and everything. But this this sounds good. So so I saw that Jimmy was on there. It's not a political event. Jimmy no. is not talking about I'm running for mayor, vote for me. He's talking about his his life. Yeah. And how he can help other people. Yeah. He's a really nice family. Yeah. I always tell him they're very photogenic. Yeah, they're, they're very, photogenic. very photogenic. Kids are adorable. I work with his wife. And, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and uh, he has a great story as he does. well. He so sure he does. he's come from very humble beginnings and he's persevered throughout his life. And I think specifically as a person of color, a Cape Verdean man mm -hmm. of color in mm -hmm. this community, I think a lot of people will be inspired by he's his story. He's in the circuit. He's going, I guess he's at the family center. This uh, um, the 18th. Yeah. So yeah. he's got a back to back weekend. Right. Uh, yeah. He's busy. Doing all that stuff. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about your group and mm -hmm. what your goals are and what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah. And then we'll promote the event one more time before we close up. Sure. So, What's on Your Mind is a nonprofit that focuses on normalizing conversations around mental health thoughts, feelings, emotions, specifically in communities of color. And we know mental health issues are. Uh, they, they're pervasive in all different communities, but we see this as a movement. And historically, we've seen that if you do not center people of color in your movement, then they're going to be forgotten about. Mm -hmm. So like with the feminist movement, sure. uh, there were a lot of different ethnicities, different races rallying together for the feminist movement. But once white women got the right to vote, it was like peace. Like we don't, yeah. we don't really care right. about the, the other minorities, sure. um, those that identify as LGBTQ mm -hmm. or uh, Latina or black, 
they were kind of left in the outskirts. So we believe that by focusing on communities of color, then we'll be able to have a ripple effect and impact all communities. So it, we're explicit about it, but we're not exclusive about it. Right. So we, we do this by just having conversations with people. So we do that via podcast yep. called Mindful, M-I-N-D space F-U-L-L. We're available on Spotify, uh, iTunes, SoundCloud, where we talk about different topics uh, through the lens of people that identify as people of color or people that work with people of color that I consider allies. Right. Um, so we've talked about on that show, we've talked about so many different things, marriage, um, we've talked about interracial dating, we've talked about grief, we've talked about police brutality, mass incarceration. So a lot of things that are impacting our community, immigration, being a first sure. generation oh, person. Yeah. Um, and it's really just in a way that's like, we want to normalize having these conversations. We want to normalize having mental health be the center of those conversations and how stress and all these emotions impact uh, your overall health. We also, in addition to um, MindFest, we have other events. So. We recently had a social services mixer because we were seeing that a lot of social services workers, like you said, like Brockton has tons of nonprofits. Boston is the same way. Right. So, but we're not always aware of all the resources that sure. are around. So we had our first mixer at Savoir Lounge in Boston where a whole bunch of social workers, public health professionals, teachers all came together and kind of shared resources about mm -hmm. uh, different things that are happening in the community. And then uh, lastly, we did, um, so we've also taken our podcast and done a live version. So we did one at Stonehill a few weeks ago and we talked about the intersection of hip hop, blackness, and mental health. Well, you and I talked about this before and we're gonna do it at some point. Yeah. We'll do one here. Oh yeah. We'll do a podcast here. Oh yeah, yeah. And we'll record it. Yeah. So you'll see the video version and the podcast, you know, yeah. the audio version. Yeah. Because you gotta teach old dogs new tricks. I, I'm not into podcasts yet, but I gotta learn it. Yeah. I gotta, you know, I gotta uh, learn it. But the mental health part, mm -hmm. Really, really important because there's always a stigma that goes mm -hmm. along with it. I remember like uh, the Kennedy family. Mm -hmm. pa pa one of the Kennedys, Patrick Kennedy, talks about it, but his family doesn't want him to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And it crosses every race, every color, mm -hmm. every culture, every mm -hmm. everything. If you don't do something about it, obviously it gets worse. Everybody, mm -hmm. People feel like they're alone or they have not any, any supporters. Mm -hmm. And right now we're kind of under siege in this day and age, if you mm -hmm. really think about it. Mm -hmm. and try to rip us all apart. Mm -hmm. Brockton's a place where they're all together. Mm -hmm. So let me just give the, they gave me the one minute cue, so I'm going to give the date and time. Mm -hmm. So Sunday, the 19th of May from 1 to 4, the um, MindFest second mm -hmm. annual over at Fuller Craft right on Oak Street and best price in the world. Can I just bucks. say one, one more thing? thing, thing quick, because seconds. my grandmother watches, but she doesn't speak any English, so I want to say something directly to her. Sure. Grandma, c'est vous même qui inspirez pour aider mon. Merci. And you got to teach me how to say that next time. Yes, okay? I will. Thanks. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the city of Champion.